I know that they were credible and substantiated allegations against him involving both minors and uh, seminarians, adults who were under his charge. Pope Benedict had instituted uh, a, uh, a set of sanctions against uh, Cardinal McCarrick. And uh, Archbishop Vigano was, was specific about what those sanctions were, that he was not allowed to, uh, that McCarrick was not allowed to publicly celebrate mass, that he had to move out of the seminary in which he was living, that he uh, uh, couldn't participate in public events, and that he couldn't travel. Um, and Archbishop Vigano said that those sanctions were imposed either in 2009 or 2010. Um, but I recall, I just recalled from my own history uh, of following ecclesial events in those years that Cardinal McCarrick had appeared in, in any number of places during that period. Now, the Pope had prohibited it, this man from taking part in public events, uh, celebrating mass, traveling. Um, why, what, what is the Pope doing here with Cardinal McCarrick? And there were, uh, I mean, countless uh, occasions in which Cardinal McCarrick appeared in public, um, celebrating Mass, uh, preaching, uh, taking part in public events. Uh, well, there's one thing that we know from the Church's experience with this in the last 30 years is that it all comes out eventually. Uh, my hope is that, uh, that the Church and those in positions of leadership will, will get ahead of the story and uh, put it together and put it out before they are forced to. What's, what's difficult in this case is, uh, is knowing that there were those who were aware of what was happening who, um, who failed to act. Now, many of those folks are, are dead or long retired, um, but you know, we, still have to, we still have to ask questions about whether there was a, a system or a, a culture that was specific, peculiar to the church that allowed these crimes uh, to, to happen and to be covered up.